Jasmine is an LMU student. It's Saturday night, and she wants to have some fun. She sees Jason, a friend that she met at Welcome Weekend. One thing leads to another, and Jasmine heads back to his room. She tells Jason she's not sure she wants to have sex. Jason tells her not to worry, and pressures her into doing it. Jasmine wakes up the next morning feeling disoriented, confused, and used. Sound far-fetched? It shouldn't. One in four women in college experience sexual misconduct. One in seven men become victims as well. Around 60% are first-year students. More than 90% of the time, sexual misconduct is committed by someone the person knew. And alcohol is involved over 80% of the time. How can we avoid this mess? Let's talk about consent. That's how you know everyone in a situation is an unambiguous and willing participant. There are four main components of consent. Consent must be clear. Ask for a yes, don't wait for a no. Consent is active and can be expressed with clear gestures, body language, or attitude. I'm not sure. I don't know. And maybe are not consent. Coherent. Make sure your partner isn't incapacitated by alcohol or other drugs, or asleep or passed out. Willing. Never pressure anyone to hook up. Consent must be given free of manipulation or threats. Your partner must be able to stop at any time. Ongoing. You have the right to refuse sexual activity even if you said yes before. Always ask for consent each time and at each step of physical intimacy. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that you automatically have consent. What could happen if you don't have consent? A hearing in front of a judicial officer, suspension, expulsion, and even jail time. So don't be Jason. Get consent. At LMU, we all have a role to play in preventing sexual misconduct. Live the Lion's Code.